This content module is a nice feature list with some icons, key ideas, planning, etc. And then some buttons, get to know us or contact us as an example. This will be nice for your clients or for your own needs. Let's have a look and see how we can change these. First of all, the key ideas, we can change the text there if we want. Then we've got an icon. Um, if you want to add your own icons, use the same size image. You want to open the PSD, grab it out of there and then change the color or update the icon, have a PNG background, make it the same size and then you can upload and do your thing. Alternatively, you can of course change to use the icons that are, exist inside of Dibby. Um, I'll just do one as an example so you can see how it works. We'll take the <clears throat> pie chart over here. And then the next thing you want to do is probably match the colors that are there. In our case, we're just going to go with a dark green, which we're using throughout our samples. Let me copy that. <coughs> okay. And then you want to switch to font size. And the reason for that is, let's have a quick preview. You want to make sure that you're matching the exact same size of this image. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to align properly. Um, and for that reason, you want to use the same size icon font throughout. So let's just go with that one. Let's make it 130 then. Enter and then let's have a quick preview. There we go. That's as close as we're going to get. So, so that's how you would do this. And then you can change those as well. Um, and obviously how you update the colors and the text. So let's close this one out. Let's see how we can change this and how we can change the buttons. Save and exit, and then here's the text at the top. Welcome. Let's see if we want to change this color. Switch to design. There we can change to the green. Just paste that. And we've got some header text as well. Just change that too. Let's preview. There we go. Welcome. And then next, we want to see how to change the buttons. So let's save and exit. Let's go and click on a button. There you can change the button text, you can change the button link, which goes to the page that you want to link to. And then let's see what colors we want to change here. Background color. We're just going to stick with the dark ones because that's uniform once more. And we'll do this one too. And then we can keep scrolling. There's some hover colors. Let's just stick with all the same ones. Yeah, let's keep it simple. Okay. And one more to go and then we can preview there we go so the one's changed the hover's changed let's save let's update the page let's have one final look there we go so everything's changed and updated there we go exactly the way you want it thanks for watching